We just took in this 2010 Winnebago V at 25 bar. Believe it or not, it's a diesel that's a class A. Well, welcome back to another RV walkthrough. As always, my name's Taylor Quill, and today we're gonna look at this 2010 Winnebago Via 25R. This is on the Dodger Mercedes Sprinter chassis. It varies between that year. And then it does have the six cylinder turbo diesel engine under it. It is technically a class A, even though it is under 26 foot long and it's technically a diesel. So a little bit different, kind of a morphodite RV, but we're gonna give it a full exterior and interior look and see what this coach has to offer. So let's quickly run through the tire size. We got 215 85R16s, and as for a date code, I don't see one on this tire, we'll find one. It does have side vision camera. It is also full body paint. They're not just decals on this. Got a little baby storage right here. And then of course we got your entry door. You're gonna see some of that 3M film throughout there. And then on the front of the coach, it is starting to kind of peel and crack like that 3M film always does. All right, let's see. 0820 on that date code. So they should only be a few years old. 3600 LP gen set from Cummins. And then you got a six gallon water heater right there and a furnace right there. Awning is about 16 feet long and it spans pretty much the whole usable space of the coach. No ladder on this guy, kind of expected, but if you gotta get up on the roof and do any work, make sure you bring your own ladder. Class A3 hitch, 5,000 pounds, and it looks, oh, right above us, seven pin right above. It's gonna get a little glary on this side, I'm sorry. You'll see some body touch up and a couple of the areas. Now you got this exterior storage right here, which is massive. It goes all the way up there. And then you have like a little area to get to the water pump and stuff. Right below that storage, 30 amp power service. No auto transfer switch, so you do have to plug it in. Get some inputs for cable and satellite. Dump station, outdoor shower, your actual dump down below, and some sewer hose storage. Now, quick shot of the slide out. Oh, not in the not in the sun. I guess maybe not a quick shot of the slide out. About 18 inches deep on the slide. Spans pretty much the whole usable space inside. More storage right there. Same Alcoa tires and wheels. Storage. And then more storage. And that's pretty much it for the storage on this guy. I'm trying to stay out of the sun. It is incredibly hard. Fuel fill right there. Side vision cameras, we already saw that. And then here is the front. It's a little glary. Like I said, you got that 3M film from about here down. It was an option. It is starting to crack and peel and discolor like these 3M films do. It's not on the hood. So some a little bit different. You got a couple little rock chips in the hood there. Well, that's pretty much the exterior. Let's jump inside really quick. So we got two exterior steps. That will come out when you open the door. They're a little noisy. We got some battery storage under there. And then on the left side, right when we walk in, battery disconnect, on it controls, stereo, and then a whole bunch of light controls. Let's get in here and shut the door. All right, so your slide out from, from there all the way down to right there houses your couch and your bed. Now up front, it does have a manual drop down bunk so you have to unhook that little hook right there and then on that side same concept seats actually let me get down in here this might be a little hard to see in the sun but the seats are in pretty dang good condition a little bit of discoloration right there but overall they look pretty good we are missing the back end cover for the e-brake <laughs> now this one is the dodge sprinter not the mercedes And then, see the good strong startup. I don't know what button to press to get the mileage, so we'll just double check on my cheat sheet here later. But there's your pretty much your dash, nothing too crazy. Now in the slide out, this first couch does have some storage down below. And then you can actually remove both these cushions, lay that down, and it turns into a single sleeper. Let's see if we can get this back into position. A little slit right there on the cushion. Lines are a little dirty too. It needs a good cleaning. We just took this bad boy in, but it does have the 
multi kind of way blind set up, which is nice. Just to the right of the couch, got a little pop-up desk, and then we have a little bit of storage on the other side under the cup holder. Looks like the previous owners did repaint this. I don't think they did a killer job, but what are you gonna do? Next up, you got your bed. This is a queen bed. Then you can pull this bed out and then push those cushions down on the other side. Makes it just a little bit bigger, probably by about eight inches. Similar style window right there. And we have a whole bunch of overhead cabinets. All three of these should be somewhat connected. You can see that kind of slight slit in there. Now when this slide comes in, it comes in right behind the TV that is mounted right here, 32 inch. You also got your thermostat, tank heater right here too. Now before we look at the bathroom, let's flip her around, take a quick peek at the kitchen. Kitchen's a little tight, just for the way it's set up, but you have a fold down sink right here. Same concept with your stove top, got a nice cover there. Pretty decent storage down below. And yes, I know these all need to be tightened. <laughs> so three of those, and then of course, convection microwave up above that. Some additional storage. All right, really quick before we forget, we're selling this bad boy for $59,995, 73,857 miles. I'll put all my contact info on the screen. If you have any questions on any of the specs or the floor plan or you want a copy of this, you are absolutely welcome to reach out. And then finally, I tried to highlight most of the options that I could find. So there you go. It does have a nice little real backsplash there. Looks like it's slightly starting to crack. It was a glass one, so kind of unfortunate there. AC, we're standing under it right now. It works really well when it's 100 degrees out. All right, slide control, master slide switch, LP valve on. Is that 0.5 hours on the generator? And then your IntelliSense one touch control system. We did end up putting a brand new fridge in this thing. It's like an LG with a smart inverter. All the wrapping still in there too. All right, to the right of the fridge is your storage. I'm gonna step back a little bit so you can kind of see, but one there, one there and then one there. So not bad storage. And then down below, you have a nice pull-out drawer. And then this flips down, and you have another pull-out drawer. It's pretty decent storage, honestly. Can't complain too much for a 25-foot RV. And then finally, we got the bathroom. The bathroom does have a pocket door if you want. You can see a res raised pedestal toilet right there. And then of course, vanity, my hand, medicine cabinet with some optional kind of accent lights, skylight here in the shower, what, two by two, two by two and a half pan down below, Ooh, and there we go. So I know it was a quick walk, it's hot, I'm sweating, I don't want to spend too much time, but let me put this slide in really quick so you can get an idea what it looks like while you're traveling. All right, here we are with the slide in, as you can see. You still got a little walkway in front of the couch, and then you have like a little side step to get through there to get to the bathroom, but you still can really pretty much get to everything. Fridge, a little hindered, but you can still get in it. Rest of the cooking area, no big deal. All right, let's head outside, see what it looks like. So this side minus the compartment should look pretty dang similar. And then we'll show you the driver's side, which should be a big difference. Appreciate you guys viewing this video. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments section down below. I'll put all my contact info on the screen one more time so you can reach out to me via text or email. Well, thank God the sun's there because you can really see that side. Thanks for viewing, guys. Hope you all have a great day.